So I thought I'd do a um, high angle shot as a change of pace. I think my face might be illuminated a little bit more better by this. A little bit more better. That was good. That was good grammar. Okay, so I put out a little thing on Facebook promising to do a reaction video on the new Star Wars trailer. Episode 8, The Last Jedi, the movie that I am most excited to see this year. According to the top 10 video I made uh, in January, um, whatever. So, um, let me set the scene. <clears throat> I, um, was racing to get my Raiders of the Lost Ark video finished and posted on Friday before I had to leave to go to work. I work from mid-afternoon to late evening. So I did that. Uh, I left the house, went to work. Um, I didn't, it, that meant really I didn't have time to make the reaction video to watch the trailer and record myself doing it while I was home. And I really couldn't do it as, at work unless I wanted to risk getting fired, so <clears throat> I had to wait until nighttime. Um, 11 o'clock rolls around, 11 p.m. I'm supposed to be able to leave then, but I can't because the person who is supposed to take over for me isn't there yet. 15 minutes go by, she's still not there, I call, finally she calls back and says, oh, I'm on my way. At this point, I'm a little angry, because this person is never on time. I mean, sometimes it's only a few minutes late, but, uh, I mean, if you're late, you call to let someone know that you're going to be late, right? So I was a little peeved, and I really didn't like the idea of <laughs> sitting down to watch the trailer for the first time while I was angry. I was just, you know, that it just wasn't cool, I just, uh... Anyway, so <clears throat> I thought to myself, I, I, I don't want to put off watching the trailer for another day. I want to watch it when I get home. What do I do about that? I know. I'll get drunk. <laughs> so I went to the bar that's near where I work, and I knocked back three beers, and then I got on the bus uh, to go home, and then I speed walked from the uh, bus stop to my uh, house, um, which is something I like to do when I've had something to drink. I walk really fast. It's fun. Um, then I sat down, and I was still a little bit not happy about, uh, you know, the lateness and the discourtesy and what have you. So I said, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I added, I already added the teaser uh, for The Last Jedi to my little playlist, uh, new trailers. If you have seen any of the playlists on my uh, channel, I have one called New Trailers. I started it in 2014. I just basically added on trailers that I happen to like when they just came out. So they're all relatively new. So, some of them are for movies that haven't come out yet. Uh, most of them already have because they're older. You know what I mean? Anyway, so I said to myself, okay, what I'll do is I'll sort of put myself in a better mood by watching some of the trailers that came before um, The uh, Last Jedi, which is the most recent edition. Um, so first I watched Valerian, the most recent trailer for Valerian. Agents Valerian and Loraline, you have less than 10 hours to find the threat and eliminate it. Then, uh, the Naomi Watts film called The Book of Henry, which looks kind of crazy and maybe a little scary. We have to make it better. <laughs> got a sniper rifle. <laughs> because her son told her she had to take this guy out. Oh, man. And then uh, the uh, Red Band trailer for Ingrid Goes West, and that's an Aubrey Plaza movie in which she is, you know, uh, nasty and what have you, like Aubrey Plaza is. A perfect day for a perfect wedding. Yep, that's how we roll. Ingrid, congratulations. Bye, <laughs> 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 Are you insane? Mm hmm. So finally it came up and the teaser came and I watched it uh, and the record, had the recording, recording going the whole time and here is the footage of me watching the first teaser for The Last Jedi. Let's crank this. Rocks. Enter Ray. Yeah. 
Then, of course, I had to watch the teaser again right away, so I did that. It's nice and big. It's like Eyelander. <laughs> so, once I'd finished the teaser, then I turned the camera and had some sort of rambling comments about it, which you can see right here. Oh, so frustrating. Yeah, okay. So yeah, that shot of, um, that very, very distant shot of Ray standing on this cliff, swinging her lightsaber this way and that way is just like this shot from the trailer for, uh, uh, the Highlander movie that came out in, like, 1994. The one with, um, um, What's his face from uh, Posse? Mario Van Peebles, right? And it's just basically a shot of Christopher Lambert, a helicopter shot, hovering over him as he goes like this with the sword, and then like that with the sword, like that with the sword. And I'm just like, he's not doing anything except posing for crying out loud. Um, yeah. Well, Kylo, you know, he's got a saber, and he's, uh, of course, uh, rather menacing, and you've got Poe running around with BB-8. BB-8's back, of course. Um, shot of uh, Leia, of course, um, from the rear. And um, who knows what Finn's doing. He's, like, you know, into, like, this kind of bubble helmet. Um, not much of Luke. Uh, nothing of, um, Snoke or, um, uh, Lady in the, um, Chrome Stormtrooper suit or, um, the redhead, uh, Imperial jerk face. <laughs> yeah, not a lot to see here. You know, a few good special effects shots that were kind of cool looking. The red smoke trailing out of the back of the, whatever those craft were. Yeah. Not a lot to see here. Not terribly satisfying. But the movie is going to be great because of Ryan Johnson. That I am confident about. And now here I am. I've watched the teaser a few other times and I've watched tons of reaction videos as well. Um, I wish I could say I liked it more. I really didn't like it all that much. Um, it didn't give me even, it gave me even less information that I already knew about the movie pretty much itself, um, which isn't very much, but still, you know, there are certain things that I assume are going to happen. Um, there was no, uh, shots of Benito del Toro, Laura Dern, um, and nothing of Snoke, nothing of Hux, uh, yeah, what was there was pretty meager. Um, and in comparison with the very first teaser for The Force Awakens, I say there's no comparison at all. The one for The Force Awakens is so much more exciting, even though it has basically the same stuff in it, you know? You know, one shot of Rey, one shot of Finn, one shot of, uh, uh Poe, um, one mysterious shot of, uh, of Kylo Ren. He had a, a quick sort of shadowy look at, uh, Luke and, um... And a couple of effect shots involving ships, and uh, you know Leia looking at a at a. Which one am I talking about now? No, I'm sorry, I was talking about the first one. 
see. See, I'm still sort of discombobulated. Anyway, like I said, I was, you know, <laughs> kind of a little bit hammered when I did it, and so I probably didn't say a whole lot that was um, uh, coherent, like I'm doing now, except I'm stone cold sober now. Stone cold sober? Yeah. Great. Uh, anyway, um, um, I want to say some other stuff about other teasers. Uh, but really, it's sort of all about Star Wars right now. This has been a pretty big week for uh, trailers. Uh, the uh, Thor trailer, the new Thor trailer, was, you know, lots of fun. Really liked it a lot. Although I am disappointed that they used that particular song because, you know, I mean, it was just six years ago that they did it for uh, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. It's still pretty fresh in my mind, you know, that same song. Not the same version of it, of course, but the same song. Anyway, but it was still a good fit, and, uh, you know, I'm still very excited for that. I'm much more excited about the teaser for Thor than I am for Star Wars, just because Star Wars seemed, had so little in it. Um, I uh, posed this question um, uh, to some people on Facebook, and also I tweeted to Kevin Smith. He never responded. But the question was, if you could go, basically, for the next eight months without looking at any trailers or any clips or any sort of publicity whatsoever for The Last Jedi. Could you do it if you knew that the payoff would be you get to immediately jump forward in time to the premiere of Episode Nine and watch it right away along with, like, the young Han Solo movie? If you knew that you would get that opportunity, could you stay away from all the trailers and clips and what have you and everything for The Last Jedi? Could you do that for eight months and just, you know... Just go in and watch the movie? Well, clearly I couldn't. Um, you know, partly because I really want to see the trailers and what have you, but also just because so much of what I read online and the videos that I watch are all about Star Wars and anticipating the movie and discussing everything, and I would have to avoid all that stuff too, along with the clips. So, yeah, I don't think I could do it. I wish Kevin Smith had answered. He's a funny guy. <clears throat> anyway, um, the one trailer that I really, really, really like lately, the one that I thought was really great, was the trailer for the three billboards outside Ebbing, Ebbing Missouri. Uh, the Red Band trailer is just great. It's got a great cast in it, and, and it's so much fun, and there's tons of great cursing in it. You know, I mean, that's that's why you go and see uh, you know Red Band trailers, right? That's the appeal of it. On the other hand, the Atomic Blonde Red Band trailer, I didn't like very much at all. It seemed to me that they weren't really... They probably don't. It doesn't seem like they have a really interesting story because all they're just pushing all the most salacious stuff. You know, here's Charlize Theron. You know, slowly the camera pans up her body as she tapes a microphone wire to her chest. You know, and then it's you know, and the scene that comes right after that has nothing to do with her recording everybody. She's just fighting a bunch of guys in a staircase. Impressive, but still, one thing has nothing to do with the other. Um, and then there's her big makeout session with another woman that seems to go on way longer than it needs to. There's kind of a funny line after that, but it's just like, okay, normally, I mean, I would be enjoying this, but still, it's going on for a really long time, and it just seems like all the all the movie has to sell is the action and the fighting and the sex and the bad language, and there isn't really anything beyond that, you know. Obviously, you've got some very talented people in the movie, so there might be, probably is more to it than that, but I'm just saying, this is just like kind of putting me off, actually. I'm going to probably see the movie, you know, I have little doubt of that. Uh, so yeah, thumbs up for the trailers for Thor and three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. Um, thumbs kind of down for the Force Awakens teaser and the Atomic Blonde Red Band teaser. Sorry. Still can't wait to see the movie, though. Really excited, but there's tons to see between now and then, so I'm not exactly hurting. I'm going to see Colossal first chance I get. I'm really, really excited to see that one. Guys, thanks for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you, uh, of course, at the end of the week with another Decades of Action Challenge video. Later.